Good morning, everybody, and welcome to day 12. <laughs> Going shopping. So we're in Iceland. We're just at the tri till now, but it's our trolley. When the guests live, we're gonna give you a full rundown of what we got. We're so busy in here though, so yeah. And Burger King. We've never had a breakfast here, so we've got the hash browns. What was it called? The big it's called the Breakfast King. So this is going to be interesting. See if there's anything like McDonald's. I'm going to try the hash brown first. You can get it. Hot. Yeah, hang on. They're not awful, but they're not McDonald's. Like, it tastes like mashed potato. Mixed with butter. It doesn't taste like a hash brown. It's okay. Um, whoa, that's massive. Mm. Stay up. Let's not stay up. Stay. Thanks for staying up. Oh, the egg is nice. Seems a treat. I say the egg is better than the uh, can you see that? Yeah, the place. Oh, I'm going to put you down here. Okay, but egg is better. Mm. I'll show you what it looks like now. I'll just open it up and have a quick this. So we've got a layer of bacon, real bacon. Um, egg, cheese, sausage, and a bun, not a muffin. I'm going to give it one big bite if you want to try and get everything. It's going to be impossible, isn't it? So I'm going to go from here. Oh! <laughs> Why was it squeaking? <laughs> it squeaked! Still alive. <laughs> it squeaked then. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> Listen. Mm. Yeah, the truth is very well powering, isn't it? Do you know that's not awful? The bun gives a sweetness. It's kind of strange. I think the bun gives it like a sweet flavour, don't it? Mm. Bacon's nice. I'm trying to try everything individually now. I don't like. I'm not cooking tonight, that's it. I don't like um, McDonald's egg, so... Oh, the egg's done lovely. Nicer than the mm -mm. egg plate. You can have the egg. I don't want the egg. I've got plenty. I'm not a fan of the egg, but I'm not a fan of the egg at McDonald's, to be fair, so... It's not a shock. But yeah. What would you give it? Ten. Ten. Can be amazing. Seven. What? Huh? <laughs> seven. I think I'd give it. I'll give it. I'll give it an extra point for the bacon because it's nice bacon. Mm. Um. Oh, yeah. I'll give it a eight. Yeah. I'm going to take you through here because there's all decorations and stuff. It's kind of awkward, but. Oh, the panel is open. Oh, gosh, hang on. Right, that's better. Yeah, we've got all baubles up here. This is really awkward. Um, 
There's bubbles running like this throughout the whole thing. And then we've got a ginormous, I think it's a mince pie. And then like little balls hanging from the sky. This one's bad. But there's balls hanging from the sky. There's a massive thingy. Oh, there's my auntie. See ya. So I am now out of the nail shop, as you can see, and meow. They are so pretty. I love them. I'll flip the camera and see. Look at them. Look at them. They're cool. I love them. Okay, so I'm going to film this now quickly because I'm half rushing, half not. Because um, we've accidentally stayed up and forgot about the grocery. So I'm just showing you guys decorations here. I'm trying not to get in trouble filming. <laughs> Really, really pretty. Oh no, it's a tree. So we've actually got a bit of a nightmare because basically we were getting we got too distracted in town and now my hands are freezing because I'm drinking kind of slush. Like what am I thinking? So yeah, we got a bit distracted in town and now the groceries are possibly not gonna be able to be collected so because obviously someone's gotta be home and it's between one and three and it's just gone one half one and half three and right now it's just gone half one and it wasn't that busy today so i'm kind of thinking that it's gonna be quite early so i've had to run oh I've had to run on ahead um, just to make sure I'm home in time. So yeah, a bit stressful. But um, yeah, I'm just hoping I can get home in time. Um, but yeah, I had the loveliest time shopping. So glad I actually made it out because it's better than you just seeing me in the house all day. You guys want to see me out and about, don't you? And there's actually a really nice Christmas tree coming up, so I can show you that. And because I can't really vlog my auntie because she doesn't like being on camera, so I can't really film that much with her. Like, I do try and get her on the vlog, but she's out of nowhere. Got a Tango Ice Bass, so good. I've got the mixed one, obviously. The bubblegum and raspberry, I think it's called. I don't know. Um, but yeah. So I'm just trying to get home as quick as possible now, ready for the groceries. And then obviously I will give you... I'm really sorry if this camera's really shaking, just because I'm like basically running right now. Because I want to get home. And I probably shouldn't be vlogging this, but this is content. This is like me. Are you gonna let me go? Yes you are, thank you very much. Yeah, this is content basically, me trying to run home. This is life. Sometimes I get distracted, but I love my nails so much. Um, they were 40 pound, if anyone's curious. Um, I couldn't film a lot in there. Oh, I just stood in a massive pub puddle and now my feet are soaked. Hang on, let me turn you around guys, because there's a tree. How gorgeous is that tree? I don't even know if you can see. Oops. You see it's all lit up. I shouldn't really be stopping. But yeah, all lit up. Pretty. And cute. One of these days, I'm actually going to have to take you to the top of town in the dark and show you around. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow, just to give you a look around. So 
so you can see all the nice decorations because obviously tomorrow's vlog is going to be super long because we're going out drinking and then possibly I think Thursday's vlog might be the shortest vlog of the vlogmas series I will try not to do that but I mean I'm going to try not to hang out have a hang up have a hangover I'm gonna try but the way it's looking for me anyways is oh my god I just remembered my wines in that order um yeah I'm just praying that I don't get too bad a hangover because I don't want a hangover oh let me show you the stuff how lush is that like I said can't really stop but I've been wanting to show you that for ages now. How lush is that? They always make an effort with their window displays. Like the Halloween one was fire. It was so good. Maybe I'll do a Vlogtober one, yeah. I vlog every Halloween anyway. But yeah, I'm holding this really down so that people can't see that I'm talking to myself. Well, I'm not talking to myself. It's up to you guys, but they don't know that. So, I've got my head like right down here. I feel like really close to my face on my like this. I can be like that in a minute. Um, yeah, I'm going to cross the road in a minute, guys. I'm going to have to cross the road. So, I feel, ah, my leg hurts. Oh, man. Right. Okay, let's not get killed by this car. Where are you going? You're going that way, okay. Right. Oh gosh, the puddles have been massive because it has been non stop raining. So that's iconic. I mean, look at that. Did you even see that? I'm not sure. Massive puddle. I don't know why. But, wow. Vlogmas has took a turn. For content, I'm showing you big puddles. <laughs> oh gosh. Is this like me walking home? Like, it's not. I don't do anything exciting for leading up to Christmas, to be honest, apart from Butte Park Lines and Winter Wonderland, which is not all like the very end of Vlogmas. Like, when we're in the teens. That's when that stuff starts happening. So, yeah. It's not really anything, to, anything exciting until then. Like, I feel like I don't get proper Christmassy until it's like the 20th. But there is an event happening at um, a local park and it's got like Christmas lights and like 80 different Christmas trees and like you can go inside the, fa the famous house and stuff so yeah. I mean I might as well tell you, um, it's in Trudy House, um, it's, like, it's not exactly local to me but it is. So yeah, I was in Newport and I live in Newport. I don't mind saying that because surprisingly Newport's pretty big. So yeah, I'm just terrified right now because I don't want to fall. I don't know why I'm still filming. I feel like, oh geez, do that was oh, okay, this is me gonna be, I'm gonna point myself then. By um, giving you vlog content, maybe on the floor. Right, I'm nearly home now. I feel like you guys have seen this walk so many times on my channel at this point. Like, I've walked past you about a thousand times, which is like, I, I do, like, do, you know, your regular path you guys take to go somewhere. Do you ever think, I wonder how many times? I've gone back and forth here because this is the only way I get to town from this path. But yeah, um, so I'm nearly home now, which is great. Hopefully the asses haven't arrived. Also, little update, I know everyone wants to know, which also means probably no one. Um, update on the parcel situation. So I'm pretty sure, because I was talking to Shanice about this last night, I'm 99% sure 
that my parcels, because as you guys know, it's been split into two. And I was thinking, well, one of them has been tracking really well, but the other one has not. So now I'm thinking maybe they just connected up at the airport and now they're in the UK. So the flight arrived this morning and customs were clear this morning too. Um, so the next update is like, the next, oh wow, the next update I should get is that it's with every. So update for you, it's in the UK, which is a relief because I am starting to get a bit like not nervous about it, but just like, uh, you know what I mean? That kind of feeling. <coughs> um, so yeah. Just getting a little bit anxious about it because I'm thinking, God, I hope, like, it's going to be okay. Can you imagine if Bison's right here now? It is not. I can't confirm it, it's not. There is something beefing though. Imagine if I made it just in the nick of time. Anyway, I'm going to head off now because I'm home and I'll speak to you guys in our beat when the groceries arrived hopefully okay ta ta okay so i've been home for about half hour now but um i was on the phone to shanice just a minute ago but um yeah basically um the groceries already came so um luckily my mum was here so yeah that happened so i'm glad she was here so yeah I'm going to pack away this now, but I'm going to give you a grocery haul first, so I'm so obsessed with it. So I am done with setting it all up, so I'm going to just go through it and let's go. We'll start off at cupboard. So we've got some hot dog rolls here, They're obviously reduced that somewhere. Got them, got some bread, these are my favourite bread ever. Some jammy wagon wheels, some Kit Kats, bear in mind this is stuff for Christmas as well, so yeah. Uh, some Kit Kats, matchmakers, so good. Got of peanuts, silver skin, oh, I said olives and onions. Got some pickle, peach, pear halves, I mean, some tuna and some red cabbage. And then we got, they've left the bottle out, but we've got um, some lemonade. That's for me for tomorrow. I don't know why that's there. I don't know why I put that there because that's for me. So we've got a bottle of Pepsi for Christmas. Um, I've been so excited for this, there's some Oreo and it's got like snowy stuff on there, oh my gosh I can't wait. 
fridge section. Oh, there's more cupboard over here. Sorry. We've got some Christmas ring donuts. I thought, why not get the Christmas ring ones? I don't actually know what these are called. I don't know. Uh, we got some wheat crunchies, crisps. Got some milk chocolate cookies. Some Foxes Classic Selection. Some orange and passion fruit J2O. Oh my gosh, one gosh, yeah, I just realised that as well. Apple and raspberry. I'm not really sure because those two have come out of the car, so I'm not really sure what's happened there, but whatever. Then we got some potatoes. I feel like I'm missing a bag or something. Oh, I am. Oops, hang on. I missed the bag. So we got Arbina, another bottle of Pepsi for Christmas. And then back over here, we've got the fridge section. So we've got um, mullet rice puddings, which are next level. We got these ain't mine. She's an onion pasties. I don't like them. So yeah, some mushrooms, some Philadelphia garlic and herb dip cheese thing, some roast chicken, um, some sweet cream for my hot chocolates. Me and my auntie's milk, my mum's milk, because we gotta have uh, lactose free because I my stomach is very sensitive to dairy, but I still will have this and pizza. So, anyways, we got um, some like fake like dupes of the um, Cornetto. That's my favourite ones. I don't eat pork. This is my auntie's and mum's. There's not a reason why I don't eat pork. I just don't like it. We got our piggies and blankets. We got these are what I picked because my auntie has the pork shoulders. So I picked four barbecue beef steel steaks. Um, got pepperoni pizza for my. Saturday night pizza night. We got some cheese and smart pasta, which I thought would be really nice with if I cut up some chicken. Um, so yeah. Got some popcorn scampi bites. I don't want to say the word, but it's right there. It's not my fault it says that. So just put it out there. It's that. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I don't want to say the word obviously because some people find it offensive, some people are fine with it, but I just don't want to offend anyone. So that's what they are. <laughs> Next up, we've got this prawn ring with some sweet chilli sauce. I am so freaking excited for this. I love it. Mini corn on the cobs. We've got some quarter pound of burgers. Um, Gan peas. I don't know what they are. Are they chips? Oh, mushy peas and a Victoria sponge. And then we've got some tresemme and persil. And then obviously I've got a bottle of wine for pre-drinks tomorrow. And I also did get these as a snack to have. So they're caramelised onion sausages. So, yeah. So I'm now upstairs and you guys can see them properly now. Like, so lush. I love them. But yeah, got my nails back. Buzzing. Hey okay, guys, so because I'm going out tomorrow night, it is time. I need to get this done because I'll just take my hair out a minute. Do you see? Like it's not okay. It's very, it's extremely greasy. Like I can actually feel the grease in my hand. That's disgusting. But yeah, I need to get this dyed. Oh, I'm not gonna film this because I have to do it. Um, not exactly fully close, so I can't film this for you. But we're gonna do a transition so um from this to the box dye being on let's go so hair is dyed i've just cleaned it up a little bit because i was a complete mess but yeah that's all done i did get a little bit on my finger which i'm kind of annoyed about but it'll come off so yeah i'm just gonna sit like this now i have got a top on but um, I'm just going to cover up a little bit because I don't think it's appropriate. But yeah, so all done now. Just got to wait. I know I'll probably keep this on until I go and have a bath, which will probably be in about an hour or two. What time is it? It's four. So it'll probably be about... Uh, I'll say I'll take the dye off about 430 I need to wash my hair in the shower and then I'll have a bath later on that's what I'll do so my hair is pretty much dried now so I'm going to take it out with a ponytail slash bun so you can see what it looks like 
okay the bottom of my hair is not dry whatsoever but the top bit is and that's the bit that needed the most attention so I'm going to show you now quickly what it looks like also I did have a bath but I forgot to film it I'm going to change my pyjamas the clumps coming out my hair, honestly, it's so annoying. Because I've got like really frizzy hair, like when it's wet, I get hair like breakage, so that's great. But, um, yeah, there we go. She's all done. Look at that fresh, fresh roots, all nice and. Perfect, 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 perfect. Love it. I was gonna um put my hair in plaits for tomorrow, but I decided I'm actually gonna straighten it instead because I haven't straightened my hair in the longest time. So I'm gonna straighten it instead. Um, so yeah, and also um, I was gonna say something else then I forgot. Um. I'm not going to film too much of me getting ready because I'm determined to film loads tomorrow night because um, obviously we are going out for drinks and you just haven't seen me drunk enough. Clearly you have, that's a joke, but you know. So yeah, that's me all ready now. Um, I need to do a bit of shaving, but I'll do that tomorrow because I'm going to have a shower before we go. Just to make sure I'm super fresh. So yeah, um, honey, I I just realised I haven't got my earrings in, um, because I took them off. But yeah, so that is the look. So we've got the hair dyed. This will last me now, um, until after Christmas, probably until the new year now as well. So and these nails will be on till new, um, new year as well, which is great. So um, yeah. I'm all ready, all of done, ready to carry on with until the new year now. Um, I won't have to dye my hair until like probably middle of January if it lasts that long. I did put so much on here, like it's covered this bit. I covered this bit in dye, and I just left the back a little bit because. I don't really see the back anyway, and my, the bottom of my hair is covered, so I don't really bother with that. But I just focus on my roots because my roots were terrible. Um, and to be fair, it's not actually made that much mess, so that's fantastic. And I feel myself again now. So yeah, I feel fresh now. I've got my nails done. I've got my hair done. I'm gonna ask my auntie to paint my toenails tomorrow in like the sparkly pink because the dress I'm wearing is the one I wore on my birthday so it's a bit annoying that my nails are red because my hot my outfit's pink and white but it is what it is like you can't I can't do nothing about that um but yeah so but I'm still so obsessed with these nails I'm so happy I went with these in the end and I'm happy I didn't actually get the glitter red because it was a Christmas red but I was like, nah, I don't want the, that instead. And I love the length as well. Like, it's not too long, it's not too short. Um, Just, like, a perfect length. So, yeah, it feels nice having nails on now. Um, Yeah, I love it. So, yeah, obviously, I, will f um, I need to film my advent calendar opening, which I'm going to do in a bit. But other than that, I think that's pretty much going to be it for today's vlog. Um, because honestly, um, I've done so much in this vlog today, it's crazy. But yeah, I won't like end this vlog until I've done my treats, um, which I will have when I take Luna to bed. She's going to bed in an hour, so it's quarter to nine now. But yeah, um, I will speak to you guys in a bit. Forgot to say the main reason I was vlogging again is because every finally has my team order. Also, I'm 99.9% .9 sure. Obviously, I'm not like 100% sure until I get the parcel. 
but I'm 99.9% sure that both parcels are together because when I look on the separate shipping for the other items, it says, sorry, we cannot, like, find a tracking number for this. So I'm pretty sure they've put both together and they've just shipped, shipped, a separate, uh, shipped together and they didn't need to give me a separate shipping because the other one was, like, proper going for it with, like, the shipping. So it was, like, Corey's picked up the package, blah, blah, blah. Um, but, yeah, they've got it now and it's processing at the um, parcel hub. And it should be like on its way to the delivery de the the depot, probably I'd say either tomorrow, or I'd say either tomorrow or Wednesday it's gonna be at the delivery depot. Um, Wednesday is tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow or Thursday, possibly Friday, and then I think I'll get my parcel about Monday or Tuesday. Um, I'm hope. I'm not going to get the parcel tomorrow, that would be great, but if I got it by Friday that would be brilliant so I don't have to worry about it no more. But as long as it comes before next Wednesday I don't mind because um, I think me and Shanice are doing the uh, best friends uh, gift swap around the 19th, 20th, I think that's the date we're doing it. Um, which obviously I'll film for you and I'll film Sean opening his presents as well. So yeah. I'll go and I can't wait honestly guys I can't freaking wait for tomorrow I genuinely cannot wait it's gonna be amazing like I haven't been out for a drink like tomorrow night drink for the longest time ever and I can't bloody wait for it like honestly just get me to where spoons now get me there and I can't wait to actually not look like a foot for once in, on the camera. Um, although I'm probably... I'm I'm going to try my best not to get too drunk. Because last year was just absolutely horrendous. And I'm going to try not to embarrass myself on the camera. Because every time I watch a, myself back, I'm like, Ugh, why did I film that? But yeah, I'm actually going to watch that footage now to see what we did. Um, I'm not... Because we're going out on a Wednesday this year. Because literally the only difference is an hour. An extra hour out um if we go out um on a saturday and it's more expensive anyway so the re that's that's probably that's a good thing to mention so the reason why we go out on a wednesday is because a it's cheaper drinks like and it's not as busy so we can actually get a table and weather spoons and all that and b because um every everyone charges like to go uh, on Wednesday, um, on Wednesday, on Halloween, when we went out on the Saturday, well, you could see it was absolutely rammed, like rammed, and we hate it when it's like that, because we can't even hear ourselves speak, um, and the t drinks take forever to come to the table, like, we don't want to get food, because, yeah, I don't know, it's just, it's just crazy, like, you just can't go anywhere or do anything, because it's just rammed. Um, and then obviously the pa the bar we go to, um, that's normally jam packed and we can't move. Um, and normally there's people out that we don't particularly want to see or something happens along those lines. Um, so yeah, the only difference really with going out on a Saturday is the fact that it stays open an extra hour. But, you know, that doesn't really matter because we pre-drink from four till about eight and then we'll go into spoons for eight until 12 uh no we go into that's a lie i think we go into we go in there for about we l normally leave the spoons when it closes so it's about half 11 quarter to 12 when it closes and then we go in mojo's for three hours then which honestly those three hours some they either fly by or they go super slow, which I love it when they go super slow because it's like, yay, you know. Um, and then, um, if vibes, if the club vibes is open, we would have gone in there at half two until four, but that doesn't open anymore on a Friday on Wednesday apparently, which is crazy. So, I mean, we didn't like it now that much anyways, but it's what it is. So, and then we'll just come home and chill. So, yeah, pretty much our night consists of pre-drinks, spoons, 
mojos i always get really sad when we gotta go like into mojos because i know like it's the last place we're going to and then because everything else is pretty much shut then um but i love mojo so much it's the best place ever and i think i'm actually gonna wear red lip tomorrow and i have more red lip for ages so i'm excited but yeah i'm gonna stop talking now bye so i was actually in the process of watching last week's last week's last year's christmas dinner video uh, christmas drink video so yeah i'm gonna watch that before i go to bed to see how messed up i was because i know the hangover well i can't remember the hangover now but um according to my theft of video it was bad so okay we are on 11th 12th it's the 12th today alexa what's the date today it's tuesday the 12th of december thank you 12th is right there i'm so happy because i can actually open these properly now there we go we've got the milky bar kit again and let's see a little christmas tree with some presents correct that's done i'll put this up here because i don't want to actually eat it but yeah um that's that done i'm just gonna grab a quick drink because apparently um because i'm really thirsty actually i don't actually know where my oh that's a squash a squash um so i'm just gonna grab a drink i'm gonna take the bottle out of me night girls see you in the morning love you i always say that now you can't see me and i feel sick because of it i feel kind of sick now because i like that chocolate okay i'm gonna speak to you when i'm in bed Hey guys, so I didn't want to leave you with no outro, so it's currently dark in my room. Um, it's 20 to 11 right now. Um, I'm going to chill on my phone for a bit and then I'm going to go to sleep because I've got to get up and get ready for tomorrow. I'm so excited. Um, if you're excited for, for you, it'll be Thursday's vlog. Give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, I'll speak to you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.